Yo, yo, yo. 
I've just left Elland Road and first thing I want to say is that the fans start to finish were amazing as usual and in pure defiance we were just singing we all love Leeds for the last 10 minutes or so um, and after the final whistle and singing marching on together and stuff as well just in pure defiance I think of the situation that's happening um, but the actual game itself was dreadful Dan James has obviously got that red card that means he's out for the season there's not much to say about that similar thing to the Luke Aylin thing he's just flown in uh, at first we didn't think it was a red card then we saw a replay uh, on somebody's phone my mate's phone and it kind of was a red card in the end you have to admit I think if it had been against us you'd have been uh, shouting for it but the worst thing of all is the actual football now if you've been watching me for a while you know I like to try and remain quite positive on this channel especially about players tactics managers and then eventually like people like Tyler Roberts like people like Junior Furpo my patience does run out and I don't just go on a tirade and slag them off or anything but I just I just accept them that they're not good enough and something's not working now Jesse Marsh when he first came in he talks the talk big time um, and there's so much stuff of him online um, so many um, so many YouTube videos, so many pieces of information that you can find on him where he talks through his tactics and it all sounds so good and so promising and then you watch highlights of his games uh, against Liverpool in the Champions League with Salzburg and stuff and it looks really really good on paper and then when you actually see it put into practice given that we've not had enough time for him to bet it in fully then there's still that caveat but there isn't any options and the, the big thing that everybody's complaining about is width and I think it really told more than ever today because every time one of our talented midfield players like Bay or Phillips who we know have got a really good range of passing every time they got on the ball they looked forward there was nobody to pass to Rodrigo kept losing the ball Cock kept losing the ball and I can't honestly blame them anymore I cannot blame them because they looked up and I was behind them from the cheese wedge. I could see where they were, what they were seeing basically, but from further away. And they looked up and what did they see? Well, nothing in front of them other than their teammates are about five yards in front of them uh, and basically all just crowd in the middle of the pitch and not offering anything wide. Like there's being expansive and then there's literally just at least having a wide option to pass to. and. Basically, we just don't have any options to pass to. It's ridiculous. Like, the amount of times we got the ball looked up and there's just nobody to pass to, it's horrendous. And I cannot carry on laying blame at players' feet for this because what can they do when they look up and see nothing in front of them? They can either play the ball into space, which they try to sometimes, and then there's absolutely nobody to get on the end of it, or you can try and play it to somebody's feet who looks up and then is in the complete same situation that they're in. So 
what are they meant to do? And I think Marsh needs to have a serious think about actually implementing a little bit of width, if not only to try and keep us up this season and then go back to his tactics over summer where he can properly embed them. But surely, with players like Harrison and Rafinha, who are your best best attacking players are your wide players at the moment, given Bamford's not in the squad. Your best attacking players are your wide players. Why not utilise them? Why not get them to stand on the wings like they used to under Bielsa? You can still have your double pivot. You can still press. Why can't you still have them out wing, out on the wings? And he likes to talk about going vertically towards goal. Well, they can still go from the wings out to in and still cut inside and go for goal as direct as possible. I don't understand the lack of width. Now, it's becoming a real issue because our players have nobody to pass to and that is now at Jesse Marsh's door. And I just really hope he changes something for the Brighton game because I cannot see us getting anything out of that game if we just bunch everybody into the middle of the pitch. It's ridiculous. We can't use any of our talented attacking players and it became so frustrating in that game that I think that's part of the defiance that everybody was showing is that everybody just sang and sang and sang and basically ignored the football match that was going on because it was so dreadful to watch from a Leeds point of view. It was awful. Chelsea didn't even have to be that good to beat us. They really did not have to be that good to beat us. The football we played today was absolutely dismal and it's, it's, it's horrendous and we deserve to go down if we play football like that. We really do deserve to go down if we play football like that. It's not good enough and it's never going to create any opportunities. We barely created a chance in that game. At least under BL even when we were getting battered we still created plenty of chances we still created scoring chances when we when we did that um uh, they went through it on the square ball podcast shout out to them best fan podcast there is um they were saying how even under Bielsa we would have six or seven shots, maybe ten shots in games against these teams who were battering us. Now we're still losing three and four nil, two, three, four nil, and we're not having the opportunities either. So what what is the benefit of this? Like it's not to keep us tight at the back because it's clearly not working. So I really hope something changes before Brighton or we are going down and I have just seen the second to last game that Calvin Phillips and Rafinha will play at Elland Road and I really don't want that to be the case. Rafinha, he's probably going to go regardless of whether we stay up or not. But if we go down, he could go for £20 million. £20 million when we could have got £70 million for him. And then Calvin Phillips, everybody loves him, everybody wants him to stay. He would stay, I think, if we stayed up. So please give us that opportunity, Jesse Marsh. Please actually play to your strengths, play to our squad strengths. I know we can't play Dan James anymore, but we've still got Jack Harrison if he's not injured forever and Rafinha out on the wings. We've still got opportunities to get the ball wide, get Rodrigo through the middle with Bamford up top if you can for the last two games and please please just something go right in that Brighton game for us to get a result we really really need it thanks for watching this one subscribe if you're new like the video if you enjoyed it I don't see how you really could uh, because how terrible we were um, but like the video for the fans and everything um, and I shall see you on Sunday for a match day vlog <sighs>